Da da ha! Hey everyone, it's me at Sayuri, and today I am decided to start the 100 Days of Language, which is a Twitter challenge. So I will also be posting this on Twitter. Uh, basically, I haven't, I've hardly touched Chinese since last month when I finished my first Chinese textbook, and one of my goals for August is to re-go through it. Um, but part of me just realized just feels like I need to start something else as well because I do want to have a good a decent grasp of Chinese before I actually get into classes so that you know classes will go a little bit easier because basically I'm studying completely in Korean um, one of the things I plan on doing is getting some language exchange partners because there are there are like three people no there are like four I have like four Chinese classmates and the our, at our university, Chinese people are the highest uh, foreigner percentage of foreigners attending. So basically, the first day of 100 days of language is to learn five new words. And so I decided to look up words that I knew I would use. Some of these words could be inaccurate because I'm just using a dictionary. So that was one of the reasons I want to find a language exchange partner. Um, also, I will probably be posting on italki a little bit more um, and writing journal entries as part of this. So the first word is zijue, uh, which means uh, self-study. So I still do need to practice my tones, which that's another reason I need a language exchange partner. And then the second word uh, is Shichu, which means to lose like something. Um, and the sentence that I chose is, or that I wrote is, 我失去我的, no, 我失去了我最喜欢的铅笔. Basically, yesterday I visited a friend's house and I lost my favorite pencil. So, yeah. Um, and then the third word is uh, Mongolian, because my friend is Mongolian. Um, so, wo, oh, I forgot the tones for. I forgot the tones for friends, so I'm just gonna try. And if I'm wrong, please correct me. Wo peng yo, ani. Wo peng yo, shi. Mongolian, then. Yeah. And then the fourth word is wang qi. Wang qi, which means to forget. Wo wang qi le. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, wo wang qi le. Chu da xue xiao yuan, which means I forgot to go to campus. Basically, I was supposed to go to campus and I didn't. Um, and then the fifth one, I actually had a really hard time with this one. I wanted to know it because um, I think it's kind of self-explanatory. It basically, how chi, how chi, basically it means curious. And I wanted to learn this one because, you know, I'm a curious person, but I couldn't, like, I'm still a little bit confused on, like, the grammar of how to say I'm curious about something or I'm curious to know something or I'm curious to see something. Um, so I just went with the simplest sentence I could form, which was 我好奇, which means I'm very curious. But past that, like, I couldn't do anything past that. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's the first day of 100 Days of Language for Chinese. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you have any corrections, please do so in the comments. I am trying to learn, like, as accurately as possible, and I don't want to be forming a lot of bad habits. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!